How you doing, everybody? It's Marcus Conti, former sanitation enforcement agent, reporting from Central Park. Behind me, you see Hans Christian Andersen, famous author of The Ugly Duckling. You see the duckling on the ground over there. Very interesting story. So I want to thank everybody who's been subscribing to this um, channel. If you haven't done so, right down on the bottom, I think, over in that direction, <laughs> you can uh, subscribe and keep up to date on this uh, on this case. This is Conti versus Department of Sanitation and New York Division of Human Rights on appeal at 27 Madison Avenue. It's in the first department appellate division. First department appellate division, 27 Madison Avenue. Case number 101058-2016. You could look it up, follow it, and I'm also including all of the filed Department of Sanitation has been served, Division of Human Rights has been served, and all of those files are down below. Stuart Little Park, remember from the movie, Stuart Little, little boat race, and Stuart Little jumped in the little boat, Central Park, man. Oh, I love Central Park. I've been, uh, you know, I wanted, I wanted just to uh, clarify that, um, you know, I'm a New Yorker. I've been here my whole life. 53 years old. Um, former, former, again, former sanitation enforcement agent. And uh, we're fighting them on two grounds. One is discrimination. And the other is wrongful firing or what's called retaliation. So... Both of those things occurred. Both of those things have been proven via overwhelming evidence. And uh, so what I want to do mostly is I want to just... Also, there's um, <laughs> Alice in Wonderland. Remember Alice in Wonderland? Let's go talk to Alice. See what Alice has to say. So Alice in Wonderland is an interesting story. I know Hans Christian Andersen and the Ugly Duckling. It's kind of a story of a... A duck, actually a, a duck who was not a duck at all, wound up being a swan. And um, so anyway, he, uh, he wound up being a swan and he was raised by a duck and they thought he was ugly. But more importantly is, um, is uh, I'm just going to walk right past everybody's cameras here, sorry. Look at this. Pretty much Alice in Wonderland. Sorry about that. Just want to get the shot. You know, Alice in Wonderland was uh, an interesting story because the court that she went to, if you remember the chapter in the court, she uh, <laughs> she was involved in, she went down the rabbit hole and uh, with the <clears throat> Mad Hatter. And she went down that rabbit hole and she was in a court that made no sense whatsoever. Despite all the facts, it was all just fiction and... Uh, she couldn't get a proper ruling, and I think that that's very reminiscent of what's going on here, is that uh, the Department of Sanitation is involved in a illegal 10-ticket quota, and they have been for more than 30 years, and no one has been held accountable, no one has challenged them, and when you do in court, they try to bury the record. New York State Division of Human Rights, you are guilty as charged. Okay? You were presented with evidence and you ignored it. Supreme Court, 60 Center Street, two judges, guilty as charged. You were presented with evidence and, re and ignored it. Now we appeal to the First Division, First Department Appellate. Division 27 Madison Avenue. We're going to go down there and um, Department of Sanitation, you've been served. So, again, I want to thank everybody for this. I want to, I also want to say that, um, again, this case is not about me. There's, there's a lot on the line here, although, um, this is not, this is not volunteer work, okay? 
I was uh, wronged, you know, and um, I'm seeking restitution for harm done, but I'm also seeking justice for the city of New York, the city that I grew up in, and, you know, 50 years, I used to drag my grandmother's, you know, garbage pails out. Uh, so, you know, I know the operation. This is not directed at anybody in particular, but I will say this. Mayor de Blasio, Commissioner Catherine Garcia, you guys are wrong. You guys got to come clean with this, okay? It's not going to go away, okay? Department of Sanitation, supervisors, captains, whoever, all the chiefs. I have evidence, you know. You already see everything that's in those documents down below here in the appellate brief and the appellate appendix. It's all true, okay? Everything that I say, I can back it up. And if you, you know, if you, if you talk to corporate counsel and you keep on lying, I'm just going to keep on releasing new stuff, right? And I'm going to unwind your lies. And we're going to go to higher and higher courts. And it's going to get really ugly. So don't lie. Just tell the truth. Okay, stop. When you're bleeding, stop. Okay? So that's all. That's not a threat. That's just, uh, you know, it's just telling you what time it is, you know, because the deck is largely stacked <coughs> against the people in this case. And uh, we're going to do everything we can to change that. All right, so keep on following along. I thank you, the people that are watching this on my side, and the people that are not watching, that are watching this that are not on my side. Good. It's all, it's all good. What I would like is everybody to just put their comments down below. And as this case develops, I'm going to do these videos all the time. I'm going to keep talking about the truth. Whether you like it or not, I'm going to keep talking about the truth. And at the end of the day, we're going to get to the truth. We already know the truth. That there is a 10-ticket quota, and it's caused a lot of harm. It's caused a lot of harm for the residents of New York City, but also the employees, the people that, that have worked under this... Um, condition for many many years okay people of color okay I'm not your enemy right I'm your friend I went to bat for you and they threw me under the bus so let's um, you know statistically you're gonna read through the documents down below and you're gonna see that you know you're gonna see statistics that say 85% of the uh, enforcement division is in fact um, Hispanic and black 85% 100% percent of all my supervisors were black or Hispanic now is that by chance is that just uh, just it just happened that way <laughs> no okay and why is it that all of your supervisors all the chiefs all the people above Mr. Burke, Mr. Klingler, why are they all white? You ever ask yourself that? So, the aspect of discrimination is very, very real in this case. And it's statistically there. Can't argue with the numbers. So, you know, my view is I was discriminated against people involved you did it voluntarily or you did it involuntarily we'll find out but you definitely did it so anyway just keep following along the quotas I think the root of the problem that without this um, kind of forced labor thing that the quota creates and the you know, the, the lack of uh, use of discretion on the part of an agent who was hired to do a job uh, is clearly a problem. And I think it's, you know, at the root of the problem. So anyway, I'm gonna, I'll try to keep these things under 10 minutes so you don't kill yourself watching it. But uh, please start reading the, um, the, uh, the below documents. And um, I respect your opinion. I don't care who you are. 
Big Chief, Little Chief, it's all the same. Okay? Read along. Department of Sanitation, Division of Human Rights. You have until November 1st to answer the below documents. Okay? And when you do answer, be prepared because I'm going to put your answer down there so everybody could see it. Right? And then I'm going to have another opportunity to answer. And when I do answer, I'm going to put that answer down below too. So there's no secrets, okay? If you lie, if you keep lying, I'm just going to keep releasing. I'm going to put everything on the record, okay? Courts are for the people. Courts are for the people to seek reverence, veterans of grievance. I think I said that right. Okay, and that's what we're doing here. That's what we're doing here. Okay?